Welcome tires, I'm Darren here with the first episode of Piscator Fly's tying series. The first fly I wanted to present is the Wooly Bugger. We're going to rewind this back all the way to its original form using an olive body and a black tail and hackle. No beads, cones, rubber legs, crystal chenille, UV dubbing, hot butts, hot heads, or any other invented piscatorial magic. Now, one of the wonderful attributes of the modern woolly bugger is its ability to be transformed into countless variations, and I'll touch on some as we tie the pattern. Depending on the size of hook and the colors of materials that you use, the woolly bugger can be tied to present as a large nymph, bait fish, leech, any sort of insects, uh, terrestrial insects, worms, crayfish, or even shrimp or crabs. So here's the list of materials we're going to need. We're going to be using a 4X long uh, talon streamer hook. You can also use a 2XL or a 3XL, whichever suits your taste. We're going to be using black marabou, pearl crystal flash, fine copper wire, medium olive chenille, a black saddle hackle, and black six ox thread. You can also use some lead wire or non-lead wire if that's your choice. All right, let's get started. We're going to start by placing a hook in the vise. Make sure that you got that barb in the jaws just in case you impale yourself. You're not hooked. We're going to start the thread at the eye and we're just going to wind back with uh, somewhat close turns. doesn't have to be touching turns. All this is going to be hidden underneath the body of the woolly bugger. Just trim the tag off. First thing we're going to add is some wire for weight, and this is an optional step, of course. I like to add about 10 to 15 wraps of lead or non-lead weight on my flies. Make sure you use the back of your scissors so that you're not dulling the tips. And this is fairly pliable, so you can just twist them over the uh, butt ends of the, of the wire. Then we're just going to wrap back over top of that wire, the weight. If you want to, at this stage, you can add a little bit of glue just to add a bit extra durability. I'm going to stop our thread right at the, right behind the weight, and that's where we're going to tie in our marabou just so that we get a nice uniform body. So I'm using two short marabou's uh, feathers here, and I'm going to tie them in right at the back of the lead. I'm going to put in a few wraps here just to make sure everything is secure and then I'm going to pull those ahead and trim them off and as you can see after I get those cut kind of keeps the body the uh, diameter of the body fairly even so that we don't have any big bumps once we have the chenille and the hackle over top so it just helps with the profile of the fly so we're going to wrap back all the way just over above the point of the hook. And if you need to shorten this tail feather, you can use your fingernails just to uh, pull off a little bit of excess. Next, we're going to use some pearl crystal flash. I'm going to, I like to use about three strands, three or four strands. I'm going to tie it along the near side first. I'm just going to match that up with the tail and I like to make sure it's tied right against the side with a few wraps and go up and then what I'm going to do is pull that flash over to the other side and wrap it down that way we just have one piece of uh, flash to deal with we don't have to deal with any extra material next we're going to tie in a little piece of fine copper wire You can just take a length and we're going to tie that in along the near side as well. As you can see I put a little bit of extra length on there and what I do is I just fold that back and then tie it down. This helps make sure that it doesn't get pulled out easily. 
and adds a little bit extra durability. Next, we'll take a bit of medium olive chenille. And what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a few of the fibers off so you can see I've got a little tag end to tie that in. And then I'm gonna wrap my thread to the front of the hook, right at the eye. And that's gonna be my tie off point for the body. Now we'll just start wrapping the body. What I like to do with the chenille is uh, just make sure that it's in close touching turns. And if you wanna get a little bit fuller body, you can actually pull back the fibers of the chenille each time you wrap it. That'll help get a little bit more full body, but doesn't, it's not necessary. We'll just tie off the chenille at the eye and trim off that excess. So next we're going to just clean up those tag ends and then we're going to tie in our saddle hackle. Now this is actually a grizzly dyed black. Uh, you can just use a straight black, it's fine. I like to use a saddle hackle as it lays down a little bit better over the fly. So I just brush the fibers back a little bit just so that they're standing up and then I pull the bottom fluff off the off the feather. I'm going to tie it in at the stem and I fold that stem over. Just gives this fly a little bit extra durability. It builds your head up a tiny bit, but if you have a thin stemmed feather, it's not too bad. Trim off that tag. So you take your scissors, just run that along the one side of your feather. That'll help you lay those fibers down as you're wrapping. So you're going to palmer this backwards and open loops all the way to the back of the fly and then you're going to use your fine copper wire that you tied in earlier to counter wrap the hackle so what we're going to do is just make sure that we catch the back end of that hackle with the wire we're going to catch it right here and then we're going to wrap up and we're going to cross over the hackle several times we want to make sure that you uh, Wiggle that wire back and forth so that you're not trapping too many of the hackle fibers down as you go forward. We'll do that right up to the eye, and then we're going to tie that off. Just make sure that wire is secure, give it a couple nice firm wraps, and then we'll trim off the excess. You can twist that off if you like as well. Now we're going to add a hand whip finish to this fly after we clean the head up a little bit. Now you can tie this fly in a number of different colors, black, olive, claret, brown, white, and you can vary up the different elements. You can use like a black tail with a bright chartreuse body is a pretty hot one. Um, burnt orange is another nice color, kind of got like a light brown. Just use your imagination. Of course, you can add bead heads and... Um, rubber legs. You can use different materials for the tail and for the body. I like to use foxtail for the tail. It uh, makes a really durable fly. Just add a little bit of head cement. So we got a little bit in the eye here. So what I'm going to do is just one of my favorite tricks for cleaning up the eye. Just take a piece of scrap hackle with a few fibers on the end and I'm just going to thread that through and clean any of the excess glue out. I got a great fly to fish when it's time. So there you have the famous woolly bugger. Uh, let me know in the comments your favorites and if you haven't subscribed please do and if you'd like to share a like it'd be most appreciated. We'll see you next time with Piscator Flies. I'm Darren.